Would you guys watch out for these SMS scams? There's plenty of them out there. And these ones are the ones that are pretty common today. And I wanted to go through some of these so you guys don't fall foul to them because there's plenty of scams that are being made every single day. This one is the energy bill SMS scam. And this is because we're in an energy crisis. It says that we have identified you are eligible for a discount energy bill under the energy bills support scheme. What they're hoping you're going to do is click on the link and fill out the form. And this is where they're going to take money from your account. They'll ask you for your account details. And basically, this is how they get your money. This one is you are eligible for a discount energy bill under the energy bills support scheme. You can apply here and you can see HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash energy dot support dash rebate dot com. Of course, it's a scam. So. This is what they're doing is they're using the crisis we're in right now to try to uh, get money from you. What they'll do is they'll get you to click on the link and it will take you to a website just like this one. And basically, this is a phishing site. It's not an official site. Basically, they'll get you to fill out your details with your full name and your postcode. And you can then sign in. And basically, what they're going to do from there is get you to put in your bank details and stuff like that. You're thinking that you're going to get a refund and what they're going to do is take money from your account. And this is a very dangerous thing to do. Never ever fill out things like this on a mobile phone. If they're going to give you a rebate, they will send you a letter. You can see here, register now to receive £400 non-repayable discount under the energy bills support scheme. They know there's a support scheme going on in our country and this is why they target this particular type of scam. So be very, very careful of things that are happening in the world right now is you may see a scam exactly for that. And this is what these scammers do. There's other scams out there as well, which are pretty bad, which are for your local councils that are offering rebates for council tax and things like that. Now, it might be different in your country, but we have council tax over here. And basically what happens is they're offering a refund to say that you've overpaid and they want you to click on that link and it'll be the same process where they'll take you to a site, get you to fill it out and give them all your details and say that they're going to refund you. But really what they're going to do is take money out of your account. Now these scammers have no empathy or feelings or any sort of shame towards what they're doing to you. They don't care and they'll use crises that are going on in the world to target people. These are government sort of scams where they're trying to use what's happening in the world right now. And these can be bad situations like, say, for instance, the earthquake and things like that. And they will start sending out text messages to try and con people to click on links and fill out forms and basically get you to give you your bank details. And it might be something along the lines as you have been offered a grant for free or something like that. And next thing you know, They've got your bank details and they'll take whatever you've got in your bank. So be very, very careful. There's another one here for HMRC, another government uh, based scam where it says our records show that your tax refund of £398.90 can now be claimed. Uh, please continue via the actual link here. Never click on these links and you can see they haven't even got claimed set out right in the text message there. So look for errors and just don't. Uh, click on them, just block them because your bank or government or anyone like that is never going to contact you in this manner. This one is to get you to pay for a particular kit. Now, of course, this isn't a government website. What they do is they know that the government are sending out text messages to uh, people about what's happening and they just want to give them information, but they're using this to try and get money out of you. Now, of course, there's many different types of scams out there, including delivery scams. Parcel delivery scams are on the rise. And of course, everyone is buying parcels online with Amazon and other types of uh, delivery services. And of course, you may get something like this where it's saying your item has a £2 unpaid shipping fee. To pay this now, visit this site. This is nothing to do with the Royal Mail, but they'll get you to go there. And guess what? You're not going to pay £2 they're going to take a lot more money than £2 from your account. So never, ever give them your banking details or anything like that. Again, banks are the same thing. 
There's tons of different banks out there all around the world, and sometimes you'll get notifications in your phone saying we have noticed unusual activity within your account. And this is to prevent access from being blocked. Please visit this site. Now, this is nothing to do with uh, this bank whatsoever. It's just them looking to get you to sign in with your banking details so they can then transfer money out of your account. And the scary thing is, it doesn't seem like anyone is doing anything about it. They never did anything about the email situation where emails were just getting targeted so badly. And they just seem to do nothing about it. And uh, people were getting bombarded with scam emails and junk emails and every single day. And the reason why, as soon as you put your email address open on a website, these uh, bots or scrapers will go out collect all this information, harvest all these emails, and then they just block send loads of junk to you or scams to you. And this is exactly what's happening. And it's the same thing that's happening now with mobile phones. And they know that a majority of people do have a mobile phone. And this problem has spiraled out of control. Now, mobile phone companies need to do more. And so do uh, the actual uh, phone carriers that are giving you the service. They need to do more about blocking this particular type of uh, nuisance or scam uh, text messages that you're getting. So be very, very careful. It is a global problem, and uh, these ones you're seeing on the screen are just the tip of the iceberg. So don't click on any of the links that you get in text messages like this or emails, and do not call any of the numbers that you see on these text messages. These people are confidence tricksters. They will uh, make you feel that it is actually a genuine person on the other end and they will get you to end up giving over your details. So be very, very careful. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.